So you've finally done it. You decided, I'm gonna start a new build. Or you already have a build and you've been getting a lot of attention, whether it's from your friends at car meets, at the track, or you have a big social media following. And now you're thinking, maybe I should try getting sponsors for my build. But how do you even go about that? Today, we're gonna tell you four things you need to know before applying for a sponsorship. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nick from Koenig and today we're going to be talking about one of our most popular topics and that is how to get sponsored. So before we get into this video, hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any questions throughout the video, leave them in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer them afterwards. First, let's talk about what a sponsorship is. There are a lot of misconceptions out there, the main one being that a sponsorship is just free parts. A sponsorship is an exchange of value. So when you apply for a sponsorship, what you're really doing is you're applying to market for a company in exchange for that product or service that you're asking them for. Sponsorships, especially in the automotive industry, come in all shapes and sizes. It could be a product, it could be money, or it could even be free labor. So the first thing you're gonna need is an appropriate build or project. Sponsors aren't just looking to give out parts. Sponsors don't want you to send in photos of your stock car and say, these are my plans and this is what I'm looking to do to the car. It would actually be better and more beneficial to you if you applied for the sponsorship at a later point in the build because they're gonna be able to see the progress that you've already had as well as where you're looking to take that build in the future and with their product. So the second thing you're going to need in your sponsorship application is a good exposure plan. Companies wanna know how you're going to market their product. Are you planning to go to local meets? Are you gonna be going to the track? Are you a social media influencer where you have a huge following? This is a very important thing because depending on how you plan on marketing for this company is also gonna determine whether or not they will approve or deny your sponsorship application. Do your research. How big is the company that you're sending your sponsorship application into? The size of the company does matter and certain companies you might not need to have as big of a reach in order to get parts from them. Chances are if they're an international company and all you'll be providing is local car meets and much smaller events, they might not want to sponsor you because they're looking for much more of an international reach. So just do your research and look into what you can offer to the company that you're applying for a sponsorship. The next thing you're going to need is a good sponsorship proposal. Going onto Instagram and DMing a certain company and saying, hey, like, can you sponsor me? Or like, are you guys sponsoring people? That is not formal at all. When writing out your sponsorship proposal, think of it like a job resume. You're applying for a job to market for this company in exchange for their good or product or, or whatever it is you're asking them for. There's no such thing as being overly formal. You wanna make sure that you're clear, you're concise, and you put in your exposure plan as well as your build. Your proposal is gonna wrap everything up into a nice little package. Companies are gonna look at it and they're gonna be comparing it to a whole bunch of other sponsorship proposals. So yours needs to stand out and be more creative than all the other ones that they're getting. Remember, sponsorship is a value exchange. The more value that you bring, the more valuable you're going to be. The last thing you're gonna need when applying for a sponsorship is patience, and I cannot stress this enough. Companies, they get hundreds of sponsorship proposals, whether it be daily, weekly, they're overloaded. And chances are, the people that are looking at these sponsorship proposals aren't just looking at sponsorship proposals. They probably have other jobs and checking sponsorship proposals is just on the list of things that they need to do throughout the day. So be patient. Don't bombard them with hundreds of emails a week asking, hey, did you get my sponsorship proposal? Did you get my sponsorship proposal? If you don't hear anything back for a while, it's okay to do a follow-up email. You might even get an email back saying, hey, thank you for sending in your sponsorship proposal, but it's not exactly what we're looking for right now. It doesn't mean that they're not looking to work with you in the future. It's just what you have to offer them right now isn't really what they're looking for. You could get sponsored later on. I can't emphasize this enough. Don't DM, comment, email, and constantly be blowing up notifications and have your friends leave messages on their page and comments on their page tagging you saying, hey, you should sponsor this guy, you should sponsor this guy. Don't, just don't do it. You're gonna blacklist yourself and they're never ever going to wanna work with you. That's not how you get a sponsorship because when you're spamming these companies, all you're really doing is giving them more work to do. Companies are looking for people they can grow and build relationships with and that's not how you build a good relationship. Be respectful, be patient, have a good exposure plan, have a good sponsorship proposal, and make sure that your build and exposure plan are in your sponsorship proposal. And that's pretty much it. It's not super hard. You just need to make sure you have all of these things in check, and it's no guarantee that you'll get the sponsorship, but you'll have a lot better chance than the other guy or one of the other hundreds of people that are also applying for a sponsorship from the same company every single day. 
I hope this information was helpful to you guys. If you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. And again, if we left anything out or you're still a little bit unsure about something, leave comments down below, ask us questions. We're always happy to answer them. We wanna be as helpful to you as we can. And that's pretty much it. And on that note, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.